So Dollar Tree always has such great wood blanks. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you nine brand new must-see high-end fall decor DIYs using some Dollar Tree wood blanks. And I've included some free printables, so let's get started. The first Dollar Tree wood item that we're gonna use is this heart. It's found in the crafter square section, and I have seen this in my Dollar Trees year round. And we are gonna pair that with this plaid printable that I provided for you, or scrap of paper would do as well. So we are going to flip this heart upside down, and this actually is going to be a little gnome. Now gnomes I know are super trendy, um, I'm not super into gnomes, but every once in a while I do like to make one. So this heart for some reason just spoke gnome to me. So as you can see here, when it's flipped upside down, you get the little point of the hat of the gnome. So I just cut the printable or the scrapbook paper, whichever you decide to use. I cut that to size and then I'm just going to take a glue stick and attach that. I take some macrame cord. I will have this link down below in the description box. I've been using this a lot lately. In my tutorials, I provided some fall macrame tutorials in some of my recent videos. So if you're interested in that, definitely always check the description box below. But what I'm gonna do is take one strand and make sure it's long enough to go in the front of our gnome and wrap around. And then I cut other strands. These are probably about six inches long. Um, just make sure it's long enough that it covers the bottom part of the gnome's face or I guess body in this, yeah, in this instance, it'd be the body, not the face. You get what I'm saying. You want it all covered and then you're gonna go back and trim anyway to make sure that everything is nice and even. And to do this, I'm just doing a basic lark's head knot, which is a fancy macrame way of saying you fold a piece of string or cord, loop it through and secure the knot. So this is going to be, if you have not guessed it already, our gnome's beard. And before we attach the beard, I took a unfinished wood bead that was in my craft stash. And again, with the stringy hot glue, you guys gave me so many good tips on how to make my hot glue not stringy. And I'm gonna try them because the hot glue struggle, as you see me swatting it away, <laughs> is real. Um, but a little bit of hot glue on the back of that strand for the beard and then a little extra on either side and then we're going to wrap it around and I think this gnome is so adorable. I love that adding the macrame cord it just gives it a little bit of that boho touch that I like and who would have thought from a Dollar Tree heart ornament. So Dollar Tree has bought back these really cute wood bead signs. They had them last year, they have them again, and I absolutely love these. They definitely remind me of something I would see like at Hobby Lobby. In the description box, I left this printable for pumpkin pie. It's just the Libby's pumpkin pie recipe that I typed up, and we're just gonna add this to this sign for a really quick and easy fall project. So for this, you're just gonna take out the backing and then trace and trim the printable so that you can attach it. Now I did glue this to the back side just because I used regular printer paper and you could still see the initial design when you use regular printer paper. If you use something like a cardstock, you probably won't run into that problem, but just a heads up.
I love the simplicity of this and I think this would look really cute on a tiered tray or on its own. Definitely a great piece of fall decor for a kitchen. I'm going to show you another really fun option using this piece of wood wall decor from Dollar Tree. So I took some of this peel and stick wallpaper from Dollar Tree. I love this. This is a really pretty kind of fun print. They have some wood grain ones, a few different, but they all apply really well. So I just trim that. And then the key to this project is going to be these fastener dots that you can find at the crafter square section of Dollar Tree. Now I'm gonna show you an interchangeable sign that you can use all throughout the year for the different seasons. So having this as well as the free printable that I linked down below is a must for this project. So if you can tell from the printable, this is a coffee themed sign. I love coffee, anyone else? And what kind of sparked this for me was these adorable wood cut out mugs from the Dollar Tree. I thought these were so cute. They always have the pumpkin ones or the leaf ones, but when I saw these, I grabbed a whole bunch. I also have some plans for my hot cocoa bar this year with them, so these are a must. Now I painted two of the mugs in black going up three quarters of the way, one in that um, copper color or burnt sienna from Arteza and then one in crimson red from Arteza. Now for the tops, I decided to just paint them white and I at first just painted it regular and then I went back and kind of dabbed just to give it a little bit more of a textured look that you would kind of see with an actual like whipped cream. So I did that for all four of these. I know someone's gonna comment that your, my line is not perfect with these, that's fine. If it bothers you, then of course, by all means, use some painter's tape, but I know I don't need to preface this. Um, I'm a busy mom <laughs> of two young kids, um, and I just, I love to craft, so I fit it in when I can. Sometimes, yes, I rush a little bit when I paint, but it's all good, right? So you do you, I do me with the painting, and that's the end of my little spiel. So these are super cute. Like I said, I wanted to do different colors so you can use this throughout the year. And I'm going to show you how cute these look with the printables and those awesome fastener dots from Dollar Tree. They work so well. So I went ahead and added all the printables, and then you're going to notice that I add a sticker to the last one. Um, my printer situation is a bit strange. So I have a printer that does all black and white and one that does color but won't print black. So for the one printable that had a black insert, my color printer wouldn't print it. So that's why I add the sticker. Now don't forget those fastener dots. Once all of the paint is dry and the printables are on, you're gonna wanna use the opposite. So if you use the more fuzzy one for your main base, you're gonna use the more like grippy coarse one for the rest of them. And that is how the Velcro is going to stick. And I think these came out just so, so cute. Here are our four little coffee mugs and the base that we made. And these are just a fun way to add a little something to your coffee bar year round. On the theme of wood cutouts, Dollar Tree always has these pumpkin ones. And this year, I feel like these are a little bit larger, which I was excited to see. So I'm gonna take three of them and we're gonna make these the centerpiece of a really pretty and neutral floral arrangement. So for two of these, I decided to take this olive green color from Arteza. And then for the third pumpkin, I'm going to paint that black, of course. You need to paint these, or you can paint these, not need to. You can paint these any color that you desire or you want. Um, I just wanted to go for a little bit more of a modern look, so that's why I did that. 
And then for the stem of the pumpkins, I'm going to use a furniture marker to act as a faux stain from Dollar Tree. Once all the paint is dry, it is time to attach these with some hot glue. So the two green pumpkins are going to act as the base and the back, and then the black pumpkin is going to be our kind of focal point of this portion of this DIY. And then Dollar Tree has some really cute stickers. You all know if you're not new to my channel, my love for Dollar Tree stickers. These are really pretty. They go with that neutral kind of boho look that I was going for. So I just added one as a focal point and then some feathers or leaves. Those are leaves, not feathers, <laughs> um, to the other pumpkins. I'm taking a mix of Hobby Lobby fall florals and Dollar Tree florals. I just kind of arranged them horizontally and tied them with some Dollar Tree poly rope. And then once I had that secure, I added some hot glue to add our pumpkins to this piece. And I don't know why I really wanted to do something in this kind of length and shape, but I felt like it was a little bit different. I was gonna go with the wreath, but I feel like sometimes this like over a doorway or over a picture would look really pretty. So once I have those pumpkins added, you're just gonna play with the florals a little bit, fluff it where you like it. And then I am going to add a little hanger on the back of this so that is easy to hang up on the wall. You definitely wanna do this on the back centered so that way when you hang this, it is not lopsided. have this above my stove in my kitchen. I think this is so pretty and you definitely can do a lot with this with the colors that you choose, but this is a really easy way to get a nice high-end fall statement. So new this year, at least new to my Dollar Trees, are kind of like these vertical shiplap wood pumpkins. So I'm going to show you two options for these. The first one, I'm going to go ahead and paint in that olive green color. I just love olive green. I love olive green year round, but especially in the fall, it's like a go-to for me. So olive green for the pumpkin. Again, you paint whatever color pumpkin you like. And then I wanted to use the furniture scratch marker from Dollar Tree as the stem. I have did not come up with this idea. I've seen a lot of crafters do this. I used to do this all the time to act as a faux stain when I first started my channel. And honestly, it's like the lazy person's dream for stain because it doesn't really smell, dries really quick, and you pretty much get the same effect. So it's a good, it's a good little crafting tip. Um, so once that is all set, I wanted this to stand up. So I'm taking three of the Dollar Tree tumbling tower blocks and I am just gluing them horizontally on the bottom. You want them to line up even and go a little bit past the bottom of the pumpkin. That way it will stand up. And then before the hot glue sets, I just suggest kind of playing with it, making sure that it does in fact stand up. Now in a recent tutorial, I showed you this really easy macrame topper for a Dollar Tree pumpkin. I'm going to link that tutorial down below in the description box because I reused it and just plopped it on top of this pumpkin. And I think this looks so pretty. It definitely gives this a little bit of a dressed up statement and goes for that boho look that I like. That leaf decor piece is also a recent DIY. Always check the description box below. I link any project that I refer to in the description box. Another option for this pumpkin, um, I actually did not film the entire thing, but I filmed some pictures. It was kind of a spontaneous project, but it's easy enough to follow along with, so I'll share. So this shiplap pumpkin and then one of these chalkboard signs from Dollar Tree, but I used the one that has the stand on it. Now, little backstory, I had a really fun craft day with my oldest and I was really into this and I decided to take the pumpkin and this stencil, some Arteza paint pens, and these stickers, I glued it all together and this is what I came up with. Now I will leave the picture kind of up a little longer than I usually do for the reveal so you can see, but basically you just decorate the pumpkin the way you want, 
hot glue that sign to the front. It acts as a stand. I used my Cricut, so it says menu. This is a chalkboard, so I used a chalk pen. Add one of the laser cut leaves to the top of the pumpkin, and I think this is so, so cute. Keeping with the vertical shiplap theme, this little acorn is new also to Dollar Tree. And I thought this was really, really cute. Now, I decided to use this copper color from Arteza, and I painted this two coats. I love this color. It is so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There we go, for fall. And then I also decided to just paint those little inner slats of the wood just so that everything kind of looked a little more cohesive. And you guessed it, we're going in with the furniture marker yet again. I find a lot of times when I film, once I have a couple colors out, even if I don't intentionally plan to do everything the same colors, it kind of just ends up that way just because it's like less mess and things I have to open. Is anyone else like that? So I was really sticking hard with this furniture marker theme for this, so there you go. And then I decided to make this a little picture frame. So I always keep the backings to the Dollar Tree picture frames because a lot of times I take them off and just kind of glue them onto things. Um, so I just screwed this on the back and that is it. I did add a little bit of hot glue just to make sure that it's really stable. And then I used a little clip that I had. Dollar Tree sells one similar. I think they're a little bit smaller. This one's from Michaels and I hot glued that to the front so I can change out the picture. And I just thought for some reason when I saw this acorn, it's like the perfect drop for a, or backdrop for a fall picture. Now taking some of these sticker labels from Dollar Tree, these are really cute. I just decided to write nuts for you because it was very punny. <laughs> um, you can use your Cricut. I really don't like my handwriting. Um, I just don't, but it was such a small surface. I was like, I could do it, Nicole. I could just write it. So nuts for you. You can write whatever you want or you can go without the label. I've had these label stickers forever and they really are like super cute. They're good quality from Dollar Tree. So why not? Added that to the bottom and there you have it for your fall picture display. In our next Dollar Tree Wood DIY, we're gonna use this pineapple. Now, <laughs> that's not very fall-like, but I always see these pineapples in my crafter square section like year round. So the top of the pineapple actually cuts off decently easy. Like you gotta put a little elbow grease into it, but it cuts off just fine. Um, I decided to cut that off so I can make a little wood a vase, vase. I always struggle with the right way to say that, but that's what we're going to do with this. Make it a little vase vase. There will be some jagged edges. Just make sure that you sand them down before you paint. And then for this, I just painted the front, that copper color from Arteza. Um, I left the rest unfinished. Um, personal preference. You could totally paint the rest of it. You can stain it. Spray paint it, leave it as is, whatever you are feeling, go ahead and do. I have had these Dollar Tree glass stickers in my craft stash forever, and I thought they were so pretty, that kind of silver contrast against the copper. And then I'm going to add one of those laser cut leaves from Dollar Tree, and that is it for this really easy project. I love how neutral it is, yet you get pops and some contrast as well. So 
I'm noticing that Crafter Square has a lot more scrap wood and this was a decently large piece of scrap wood $4 tree that I got. So I just kind of sanded down a little bit that needed to be. And then I took some Dollar Tree chalkboard paint and I'm going to make this a menu chalkboard because I absolutely love making menu boards. I feel like I've made a lot on my channel, but I'm someone who meal plans and I just feel like it's really useful. So that is what we're going to do. Really easy. Just add, and then I really like this Dollar Tree chalkboard paint. I have to add a little bit goes a long way. And yeah, I really do enjoy this. Now, super easy. We are going to use a previous Dollar Tree DIY, this pumpkin that I made. I'm going to add two tumbling tower blocks to the back of it. This is going to act as a little kind of stand um, that we can prop up this piece of wood. It's going to be sandwiched between that and the pumpkin stem. And that's what's going to hold our fall menu board. I added a decal for my Cricut. And there you have it. I think this is really fun and just a great way to display a menu and it pops on and off really easy. I hope you enjoyed these new Dollar Tree DIY decor ideas for fall. Lots of really easy wood DIYs. I really enjoyed this video. I'm having a lot of fun just doing all the seasonal DIYs. Um, I just really enjoy it. So I hope you all are enjoying it as well. If you're not already subscribed, I invite you to do so. Make sure that notification bell is turned on so you know every time I upload a new video. And as always, thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me here on my channel. It means so much to me. I hope you all are doing well and I will see you in the next one. Bye.